Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking an early look at SteamOS 3 running on the Ioneo Air. Now before we get started here, I do want to mention that this is not officially supported by Aya, but uh, they are going to release their own Aya OS, which is a Linux variant, and we will be taking a look at that once it's officially released. But what I have here is the same operating system that runs on the Steam Deck running on the Ioneo Air. So basically, we've got a mini Steam Deck with an OLED display, and this thing is really awesome. If you're not familiar with the Ioneo Air, I recently did a first look video. This runs Windows out of the box, and it does a great job with Windows. I got a couple more videos coming up, like some emulation testing and stuff like that. But I had a lot of people asking me about SteamOS 3 on this device. And yeah, it is possible to get it up and running, and I've got mostly everything working here from the correct orientation of the screen, we've got built-in Wi-Fi working, and this is using a MediaTek chip right out of the box. The only thing that I cannot get working on this is TDP control. So right now, we're set at 8 watts. And when it comes to the APU this little handheld's using, it's a Ryzen 5 5560U. It's based on Zen 3, we've got 6 cores, 12 threads, and it does a great job at about 15 watts. But like I mentioned, we're kind of limited here with SteamOS, at least at the time of making this video, at 8 watts. But I still wanted to make this video because I thought it was really awesome seeing this running on a handheld like this. And uh, the way I've got it set up right now is actually running from an external drive. So I've got a USB Type-C adapter with a few USB ports on it. It also has HDMI out. And I'm using a 128GB drive just plugged right in. Everything's running from the external because I didn't want to wipe the internal M.2. I still got a lot of testing that I want to do with Windows. And I do have a few more videos planned, so definitely keep an eye on the channel. But in this one, we're going to be taking a look at SteamOS 3 running on the Ioneo Air. And so far, it's been a very enjoyable experience. And uh, we actually even have video over USB Type-C with Steam Deck OS on here. So if you did want to run to a monitor, you could. And I will be plugging into HDMI just to make it a little easier on me. But let's go ahead and test the game real quick. We're going to go with Dead Cells, and we will take a closer look at the operating system and test a few more games, but let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And the first thing you might notice that's a little different is I do have the overlay over on the right hand side, and that's because I did have to rotate the deck UI here, and I had to install a different version of GameScope, which actually takes it over here if I don't have kind of touch input on the screen. But it's still fully functional, and when we're over HDMI, it is in the correct place. And we still have access to system-wide FSR. Unfortunately, the TDP control and the GPU control isn't working with this version right now, but I'm sure it'll be fixed down the road. And I can't stress this enough, this is not officially supported by Aya. This is something that I did on my own, just to give you a look at it running on the Ioneo Air. And uh, I really love this screen here. It's actually a 5.5 inch OLED at 1080p. And yeah, I mean, we can run these games at 8 watts. All this indie stuff at those lower wattages are going to run really well. And as soon as I'm able to control that TDP, we will be testing out some more AAA games. But in this one, we're going to take a look at some lighter stuff because we just can't get the max performance out of it when it's running at 8 watts. So what I'm going to do now is plug this into my game capture so we can get a better look at everything. It's also going to make it a little easier on me. So far, not a bad experience at all, but uh, you know, it's still really early for the air. And like I mentioned, we can only go up to 8 watts on this APU right now, the way it sits. I've tried all kinds of different modifications and everything like that. I've even installed a few plugins. So uh, what I've got in here right now is Handheld Power Tools, or Handy PT. Unfortunately, we can't do much right now with the TDP on this. I've tried to unlock it, but we kind of limited by the BIOS right now. This is not officially supported, but it is working, and I'm going to show some games off. But first up, let's go to our settings, system. If we scroll down, you can see that we've got that 5560 right here, 5560U, 6 cores, 12 threads. We've got 16 gigs of RAM here with this unit, and it's set up for 3 gigs of VRAM right out of the box. So, uh, unfortunately, we just can't get those maximum CPU and GPU clocks, and I'd say at about 15 watts, it would definitely open this little thing up for uh, Steam Deck OS or Steam OS. But as soon as I can get this TDP correct on the unit, we will be testing more. But I definitely wanted to show this off, because uh, right now, for this stuff at 8 watts, it's working pretty decently. Let's go ahead and launch Left 4 Dead 2. And I'll actually set this up so we've got more information on screen. Reloading. 
All right, so here it is, Left 4 Dead, 1080p low. And if you take a look at game scope, you can see that our CPU is pulling under four watts. It's really trying to spread that eight watts out between the GPU and the CPU. It's doing a pretty decent job, but there's a lot more that we can get out of this. Either way you look at it, it's actually running this pretty well, especially given the fact that this is at 1080p. Here's another lighter one. We've got Sonic Mania, and it's running really well. Gamescope is stating that we're at 60 FPS here, and again, that CPU isn't even pulling 4 watts. I've got a couple more games to test here. I'm just going to go ahead and let them play out. Uh, first up, we'll do Cuphead, and then we'll move over to Shredder's Revenge. So overall, I think it's pretty cool to see SteamOS 3 running on the Aya Neo Air, but you know, I'm really excited about Aya OS. It is based on Linux. It's going to have a really nice little interface. They've already shown off a little bit of footage from it. And you know, since it's from the maker of the handheld itself, everything's going to be working right out of the box with that, even the RGB on those analog sticks. But you know, if I can get the TDP upped on this with SteamOS, I will make another video. Taking it up to 15 watts is really the way to go, and it would definitely open up for some more AAA gaming. We could also test out some emulation in Steam Deck OS. But if you're interested in checking out my first look video, I'll leave a link for that in the description. In that one, we just went over the specs, all the features. We tested out some PC games and some high-end emulation. Overall, big fan of this little handheld, and if you want to learn more, I'll leave a link to the Aya Neo website and the Indiegogo that's going on right now. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If there's anything else you want to see running on the Aya Neo Air, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.